All right, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Three Stacks in this thing, baby. Representing Team Kings of Games, and uh, today I'm gonna be showcasing you guys a competitive duel. Uh, so I'm gonna be piloting Alter Geist, and my opponent is piloting a deck that's been getting a lot of hype, Dogmatica Buster Blader. Uh, but I think his plays Red Ice cards and Eldritch. Matter of fact, I don't even think I saw the Dogmatica card. I think this is more like Eldritch Buster Blader uh, with the Red Ice package. But anyways, um, I believe he won the dice roll, and uh, he'll be going first. I'm not sure. A Kingston. Go pop pop, okay? Go pop pop. Oh. What's wrong? I am scared. Alright, let me see. Come here. Come here, Fanny, man. Let me see it. Let me see it. Owie? Hmm? It's Owie? Okay. No, don't press that. Okay? Sure. Okay, go back on your papa, okay? Go papa. 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 Come on. Yeah, go pee pee. Sit down, okay? Yay! Alright, so it's my bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just press play. Uh, yeah, like I said, I think I won the dice roll. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna fast forward. Uh, once we see our opening hands, I'll pause. My hand's already pretty much, right? I mean, I have imperm faker, double imperm, double trap faker. Uh, yeah, this is pretty nice to be going first, truth be told. Like, it's it's really nice. I mean, going second, this hand's nice too, but like, either way, this, this hand is just nice. I have two hand traps. The best altar guys to pair with uh, Imperm, like a fine wine. It's just like, oh, uh, it just doesn't get any better, right? Uh, his hand, I can't, it's not like revealing. Oh, okay, show both. That's the problem there. Show both. His hand, he has uh, like the one card combo, Buster Whelp. It's actually a one card combo. It's crazy how strong this card is. Uh, and then we have Imperm, Ash, he has two hand traps. Wakero and dang both our hands are nice. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that Ash is gonna hit my extra. I mean what else would you use it on, right? Uh, and I'm just gonna pass. I don't even bother setting the imperms so I do. I can just play him for man. Uh might as well just bluff it. Then he activates red eyes fusion. I'm like, bro My whole hand, man. <laughs> my whole hand. Like what am I supposed to do? I need to resolve so many cards. Like I need to uh Bait Dragoon, Summon Selene, Bust Out Access Code, if he's not banished already. Uh, okay, he's not banished. I still have Selene. Uh, there's just so much work. And you can't do that under Faker's Restriction. So I'm like, bro, like, this is already scary. Like, Dragoon is so good against this deck when it hasn't got the engine rolling yet. I think you might want to just consider playing Dragoon, even though it's not a trap. So I extract for one. Uh, here he's saying one, you draw one. And uh, I was just asking, do you respond? And I'm like, you know, saying I'm well aware of, of how my cards work. He's like, he's telling me I'm going to draw one. Like, bro, I know I banished three cards to draw one. I'm just seeing if you're just going to take the bait. I just want to use this card, you know, just trying to draw. Uh, let's just see if he's going to do anything. He doesn't. And so I have, like, Imperm Gamma, Imperm Faker. Like, this this is so good, but, like, it's not good against Dragoon. This is good against, like, other stuff. Uh, but this right here, these cards just can't interact properly with him. Uh, so I'm just so far behind, it's ridiculous. Like this, I just don't see myself winning this duel. Just look at how much damage he's getting on the board. And he's gonna activate the protector. Uh, he's gonna change your goon there. I don't even bother. Like I'm like, what's the point of even trying to negate this card? Like this, this is already. These are threats right here, and uh, he's just gonna try to push for game. So I'm like, dude, oh, let me try to activate a second Imperm, uh, just so I can bust out Faker. Cause like if I try to gamma him. I can't use Faker, because Faker's not like a, you can only for the rest of the turn, it's like during the turn. So I can't Gamma him, obviously, like, you know, if anybody's wondering, why didn't you just Imperm Gamma, you know? I can't, bro. Uh, like, that's one of the issues with Gamma, even though it's such a good hand trap. Gamma and Nibiru are the high impact hand traps that you have to pick one or the other. It's not really good to play both, because they have a lot of conflicting elements with this deck. You kind of pick one or the other, so like, I think in this list, I side Nibiru and Kingston. And main the gamma, so it's kind of sucks. I feel like I'm just gonna lose this duel, or rather lose this this just game one. Uh, he imperfs the faker, and uh, yeah, I just I don't see any. I just don't see a way out of this, bro. Like, uh, so I just shoot there. So even if I draw a play, he has one on the gate, and that's all he needs. Uh, so uh, this time I'm going first. I sided in judgment and duster, and I have Ash Protocol Marionetter. 
uh, like this is pretty nice actually. His opening hand, he has Prologue, Cursed, oh he has Feather Duster, that's so nice. He has Sanguine, oh Red Eyes Fusion. I'm so glad I have Ash right now, cause like that would have hurt my, my that would have hurt. Like I was gonna say it hurt my balls, but that yeah, I was gonna hurt a lot. I set Manny cause I already have Protocol. Uh, I'm just gonna set my back rows pass. He's gonna activate Duster. I have to judge that so I can keep my back rows. Uh, so I'm just gonna Duster his Curse cause I don't want him to get Golden Lord. Uh, like to his hand to pitch him and send another one of my cards. Cause like this is all I really have to interact with them. So that's why I did that. Uh, and then I ash his Red Eyes Fusion here, as you guys can see. So now he has Sanguine plus Prologue, which actually is still pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, like, because if I let Curse resolve, he gets Golden Lord to hand. Now, not only can he out one of my back rows, but he can bring Golden Lord back out and take care of Marinetter, which means, like, I have to use Manifestation if I ever want to use Protocol. Because, like, I don't want to waste Protocol and Golden Lord's effect to summon himself from Graveyard. Because then he takes care of both my back rows with just, like, the Curse. So that's why I dusted on his Cursed. Uh, I just feel like it was better for me. So I don't throw two cards at his Golden Lord. Instead, I just throw one card at his Cursed. Uh, hey, my love. Just let him be. Let me do this pot. Alright. Just do it in the room. Bye-bye. Keep him on his pot, pot my love. Alright, so, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, I asked here. Uh, and so I think he's just gonna set these and then pass. Oh, that kid. Uh, so, oh wait! He sets black. I wonder if he's playing white. I wonder. I'm just curious, like, I just wonder if he's playing white. Uh, so he's gonna activate Prologue and Draw Phase. No, I believe that I activated, um, Protocol. And he's activating, yeah, Prologue. So I'm just gonna press play, fast forward here. I'm using Faker in hand. This is his only time to respond, because once he hits the field, he can't really do anything to it. I'm gonna bust out Seek, summon Hextia, search for Mario, uh, and then I'm just gonna use Mario's set manifestation, because I played two manifestations. I actually believe two is just amazing. Um, like, some people don't, but I really do believe it. I'm just gonna use Seek to take care of some threats here. Uh, the Buster Dragon's not much of a problem. Just gonna poke him for Try to poke for 16. He's gonna actually say we I negate it so that he cannot have the Lord on field. Uh, and then I was trying to, I think I said draw phase, but he went to standby. I'm just doing my uh, manifestation play for Faker so I can get more cards. I'll uh, play next year. Uh, dang, that kind of moved pretty fast, but as you guys saw, I pretty much just took control of the duel, anyways. It happened really quick. But I was just trying to, um, I think my zone placement was incorrect. I'm learning more and more that I think it's better to put Silk under Hextia and put Faker somewhere else so that you can use the Faker to either bounce it off Silk or use Protocol to send it off. So that way your Silk and your Protocol don't turn your Hextia off. Because if you put Silk somewhere else that's like not where Hextia is, that means the Altergeist card that you bounce would have to be either the monster pointing to Hextia, the manifestation that brought it back, or the protocol that you still want to use to negate a card. So that also means you lose an interruption before you get to use it. So I think the better uh, usage like for your zone placement for Altergeist is you should put, put your Silks under your um, your Hextias. Unless you're desperate and you just don't want your opponent to activate anything, uh, the moment the Faker hits the field, you'll put it under Hextia just for protection. But I think it's better to do the... Um, the silk play put silk under hexia so that happened pretty fast he just scoop because he's playing downhill like yeah i know eldritch are a good trap deck i know they can grind but uh honestly like this deck once it gets its engine going it's just way better like ultra guys can just grind better and hexia is just one heck of a card against a deck like this where they use so many spells and traps hexia not being once per turn negating effects or activations having like all the control from silk and seek and protocol and hexia it's just too much like it's way too much i don't even think he wants to waste time i believe he's going first now he just has a handful of elish cards uh since he can't get a dragon in grave this is not going to get him to the full lock which granted it's not going to do that much against a deck like ultra guys truth be told he has one hand trap he's got black white yeah i think he definitely like this could be uh sanguine if this was sanguine it'd just be like way better um, like if this, if black was white and if white was sanguine, I think it's better to have sanguine and white. Uh, but he's gonna get Golden Lord out no matter what, so. 
and my hand is just nice. I have one for one Mario. Uh, I have Melaseek Strike Spoofing. Not that great going second, but against a deck like this, you don't really need hand traps. It's better to have equalizers or just more consistency cards. Because the Ultragast engine's already good enough against a deck like Elix that uh, you don't need to hand trap it. It sucks so bad that I top deck Haunted Rock because I was totally going to normal Mario and do my Haunted Rock combo. I don't care if he had an interruption. I was just going to commit to that play. And as you guys can see, he just had the Imperm. Uh, it kind of sucks, but at least I get to commit to the one-for-one -one play now. So, fast forward. I get rid of my C because I want to keep Mario with my normal summon. So, I go Seek for Seek. Normal Mario, he Imperms. I'm going to attack with C. Uh, luckily, Seek activates in damage steps, so they can't... When you target it, they can't just be like, oh, I chain it. It's too late, bro. Uh, so then I summon my Hexia. Already, I'm winning the duel right here once Hexia hits the field against other decks like this. Ultra guys are such a well-rounded deck. Uh, their boards can combat any deck pretty much. Uh, but I think where they really, really shine, and I don't want to use the, the word us so much, but I believe that where they really, really shine is against other control decks and against other decks that rely more on spell and traps than they do monster effects because... You get more consistent interruptions out of Hexia than you do off of the bounce off of Seek, uh, bounce off Silk, the send off Seek, and the gate off Protocol. Those are like negation slash removals, but Hexia is just an insane card. Like it's such a powerful card. If they make another Ultra Geist Link monster that's like Hexia but for monster effects, it's game over, bro. This deck would absolutely be like minimum, minimum, minimum like tier tier two, tier one point five. Probably not tier 1 because it's not as consistent as other decks, even though it has some powerful cards in its arsenal. So anyways, Hexia hits the field. I search my second Faker. Uh, then I make my Link Cross because I'm not under the restriction. I didn't use Faker. Grab my Manny so I can just make that play. Uh, I'm in on his draw face. Uh, well, I don't know why he keeps going to standby when I'm saying draw face because it does make a difference. Because uh, like if there's an effect he can activate in standby, he could do it. But I keep saying draw face. Uh, so I activate Manny and I chain spoofing to shuffle it. What that does is now, um, when your opponent, when you have Manny pointing to something, I mean equipped to a monster, if your opponent outs the Manny, they out the threat. So by shuffling my Manny, the Hexia comes out and there's no longer a way to threaten it by targeting the Manny. Uh, so I really like that play and it gets personal spoofing more value. Even though Haunter Rock needs to be shuffled eventually, I just like that play so that Hexia is stronger and uh, a lot less um, easier. It's like, it's more difficult to remove it off the board. Uh, so I search for Conk here because he, he banished my Hexia. I'm still going to resolve Faker because I, I target Hexia with Manny. And now it's even better that I shuffle it with spoofing. Granted, yeah, I could easily just grab it back from the grave off Silk, but still. I've got my Alter Guys engine rolling. I'm pretty secure right here. Uh, I think he went to battle phase, just try to beat over something. I'm just going to drop Punk. And this card's really annoying. Like when you have Silk up, because you can negate an attack, bounce it, and then negate another attack. And that's like what makes this deck just really, really annoying to deal with. Uh, so right here, I think that was incorrect. I do believe that the card I should have bounced instead uh, probably should have just been the, uh, the Wakero. Uh, cause like by bouncing the Golden Lord, I pretty much gave him the ability to send one of my cards to the graveyard and then he could summon Golden Lord back out. Uh, so like, I think I should have just bounced Wakero. Yeah, he gets to like activate it again, this, that, and the third, but at least he can't get Golden Lord. But I was just thinking about, um, like, I guess a different line of play, but I think it's correct now that I'm uh, rewatching my own replay that I should not have bounced Golden Lord. I should have just let him attack Silk and let Silk die. Because as long as I have Faker and Conk, I can still make a Hexia next turn regardless. Because I still have two Ultra Geist. Uh, so, press and play. So then he uses Golden Lord to out my strike. And obviously I don't activate it, because why? He's sitting into the grave. He tries to summon Verde with Wakero and Lord. I just told him they're like, you know, one of them's not an effect monster. And then he just like, gave up here. He didn't even want to keep it. Uh, I mean, truth be told, I mean... This is all he has going for himself, and we're about to put another Hexia up. He knows, he knows I have a Faker. Uh, this can just shuffle this to search Marinator. Like, I just really don't see him winning this duel at all. Like, there's just nothing he can do. All he has going for himself is just all... I mean, just uh, the Golden Lord, you know, like, and the Eldritch Spells and Traps, and the Golden Lands and stuff. I don't think that that's good enough to beat Altergeist. I think Altergeist downright just beat this deck. Like, when you compare... 
just the Eldritch cards to the Altergeist cards, I think the Altergeist cards are always just going to be better, and they'll just beat them fair and square. Uh, when it comes to combat engines like, you know, Dogmatica or this or Invoked, you know, that's where things change for Eldritch, or if they're on the Synchro package, but just Eldritch by itself is not good enough, in my opinion, to beat Altergeist. It just doesn't do enough. And plus, like, the grind game for this deck just doesn't compare to the grind game for this deck. Because my grind game also slows there and puts it to a near halt. While I just keep capitalizing and getting a surplus of advantage off cards like Hexia, Manifestation, Faker, Silk, Seek, Marionette, you know, spoofing. I've got it all, man. Like, it's, it's all going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, GG's to him. Uh, and that's going to be it for the video, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Of course, I'll have more content coming for you guys. Uh, but, like, you know, for those of you guys who understand, with, you know, the time that I have on my hands, uh, trying to manage my time properly, you know, taking care of my family, uh, there's certain things that you just have to do when kids get to a certain age, there's just certain things you just have to do. Uh, and then also, like, there's a lot of birthdays this month, and, and like, I got a new job, so... I'm not going to be doing like, you know, crazy amount of uploads. I just do it when it's convenient for me. And um, that's pretty much how it is right now. Uh, eventually, you know, there will be a point where I don't have to work at all. And, you know, it's just going to be like that. Because I'm pretty sure there's quite a few content creators who get so much, you know, love on like Patreon or whatever it is from their fans. That they probably just don't even have to work. But I'm not that kind of dude. And I don't mind it. I mean, shoot. You know, we got to take care of our families, right? But that's the end of the video. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Lord Jesus Christ. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread, Lord. And please forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, Father, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Father. Amen. Peace.